We'd like to share with you answers to questions that architect frequently receives regarding prescribing bioptic telescopes. Prescribers often ask what power is recommended for their patient. We generally recommend that your prescription goal should provide visual acuity of approximately 2040. We find that individuals with 2040 vision have ample acuity for just about all visual activities. If they have more demanding needs, try to provide 2030 visual acuity with a slightly higher power device. Of course, the higher power the device, the narrower the field of view. So we're not eager to provide higher magnification than necessary for that reason. Which eye should a monocular telescope be prescribed to? Architect recommends that you prescribe the bioptic to the dominant eye even if it is the poor seeing eye, so long as that through the telescope, the dominant eye sees better than the non-dominant eye. Describing a monocular telescope to the non-dominant eye is often much more challenging for the patient to use. We are also asked what carrier lens prescription ought to be prescribed. We recommend that whatever prescription your patient habitually wears in their glasses should go into the carrier lenses for the bioptic telescope. If they wear a bifocal, we suggest you continue to use a bifocal in that. We suggest you avoid progressives and trifocals, just use a conventional bifocal lens. There should be a minimum of 10 millimeters distance between the top of the bifocal segment and the bottom of the eyepiece. Architect receives frequent questions regarding when to prescribe eyepiece corrections. Architect's VES systems are designed to correct for most refractive errors simply by changing the focus of the device. So refractive errors only need to be considered in the eyepiece if you have astigmatism above three diopters or spherical powers above plus or minus eight. Patients occasionally ask whether they can use their own eyeglass frame and have the telescope mounted to it. For the VESK, VES Sport, and the VES2, you are required to use architect's frames because they're designed to take the mounting designed into the telescope. For the VES Mini, many frames can be used for that purpose. We recommend that they be metal or plastic with adjustable nose pads and be sturdy in design. We suggest that you avoid rimless designs. How much do Architect Bioptic Telescopes cost? There are three parts involved in determining the fee. The cost of the device itself, the customization expenses associated with carrier lens prescriptions or other adaptations, and lastly the professional fees associated with training the individual to use the device effectively. These need to be discussed with the prescribing specialist before the device is ordered.